greetings from Rocky Mountain Institute's Boulder headquarters where we are currently going through our own renovation. Hi, my name is Victor Oljai. I'm a principal with uh, Rocky Mountain Institute in the Buildings Group. And I would like to answer a question today that we got from Richard Bonilla. Uh, and he is interested in finding out about uh, geothermal systems and how they might best be used in retrofits. It's a great question because we all really like retrofits of uh, buildings to make them more energy efficient and uh, geothermal systems are potentially a great way of making them be more energy efficient and cost efficient. Uh, geothermal energy is a uh, low carbon way of using electricity, pumping heat from the ground into your building. We always want to do as much energy conservation in a building as we can first and then start to think about additional sources of generation. Some places the best sources of generation might be uh, electricity being generated from solar energy on the roof. It might be uh, heat generated from solar panels. It might be uh, heat using a heat pump or other sorts of uh, low carbon sources of natural gas. But geothermal is certainly one which can be very cost effective. The key to making geothermal cost effective is to go ahead and try and integrate it with other renovations or other uh, improvements to the property that you might be doing. So where we have uh, an opportunity to uh, do earthworks for adding a garage to a place or to uh, uh, use an existing well that we might have, those are all opportunities for getting your uh, geothermal system engaged with the earth. What is usually the most expensive part of a geothermal system is building or digging holes in the ground to uh, place these coils. And if you can do anything to offset that cost by including it and integrating it in other building renovations, uh, the project will be much more cost effective.